Hello again, this is Mark Lacken reporting with Hayden Films Institute, live coverage of San Diego Comic-Con coverage 2017. Also partnering with our global friend Volkertscher.com in Germany. So how are you doing today? We are here with Joe and Steve, they are the Hasbro group. Guten Abend. Ah, oh, hello. <laughs> If you could uh, tell our fans now what uh, exactly you do here for Hasbro. Yeah, sure. I'm director of marketing for uh, Star Wars at Hasbro. And I'm the design director for Star Wars. Okay. All right. Most of our from global market overseas, from Germany especially, uh, he has a few concerns. But also he just wants to upfront thank you guys for your continued effort to make a quality product. I mean, there's been concerns over the years and you've listened to the fans and I, I guess that's important to keep the three and three quarter inch line going. Yeah. Um, if you have any concern, would you like to reply all that? Or? No, I mean, a special thank you to Volker and, and the fan community out in Europe and, and Germany. Uh, you know, we, we're always getting great feedback from everybody out there and uh, they're a big part of why uh, the Vintage Collection is returned. So thanks, keep the feedback coming and, and we hear you loud and clear. Okay, he has a few concerns. Um, Actually, the the product is there a little delay to get to the European market as opposed to this um, United States market, yeah. particularly Fenray and Vistan. I guess in the three three quarter inch collection. Well, what is the hold up there? He didn't see too much of the product line reaching him, yeah. as well as the United States. He's a really hard figure to find. Will he show up later? Yeah. So uh, the two part answer in Europe in general, we're working on methods to get better distribution out there. We're working on kind of remixing our waves uh, for better suiting the market out there. Um, so that's something you'll start to see take effect probably in early 2018. Um, again, we look for the feedback, making sure that we're getting uh, the right figures out there and, and good enough distribution. Uh, for Fenrau, and um, well, Fenrau, he was shipped, but in low quantities. So we're definitely looking on having him um, kind of repacked in the near future because all around the globe, uh, there's been um, unmet demand for him. And for Biston, um, especially, that actually never made its way out. We revealed it. Uh, it's a figure pack that we're still working on a way to get out. Uh, it'll probably be something that we do in the near future, but we'll definitely get it out to fans. Uh, Germany and EU are not alone. That's something that hasn't made its way out anywhere in the world, so we're working on it. Well, I hope to see them soon. Yeah, um, he also had concerns of the the Euro packaging, especially for the, the Black Series. Um, low quantities of maybe the Snow Trooper and the Adat Driver, uh, will they see more release in the black series than in black packaging or are they going to go to the European packaging? Well, when you say the European packaging, um, just the, the specific uh, European variant pack for... Yes. That's that's really all that we do ship in Europe. Um, okay. We The way we work is we have different packaging for different regions. Um, so that's the specific style that will get out there. If it's a question of whether or not we have enough quantity um, you know, again, that's something that we're working with our partners to make sure and, and listening. Uh, if those figures are, uh, you know, again, unmet demand, we'll look to repack them in the future to get more out there. Okay, that's uh, great. I'd love, love to hear that. Um, also, the 2018 year coming up, uh, you guys are changing to the vintage style packaging for the three and three quarter inch? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. So we, we knew the, the love for vintage style packaging was like incredible globally. And so we're kind of going to bring that back and we're going to be able to express all our super articulate figures, ones that we had and like that you've seen in other super articulate lines, whether it be Black Series or whether it be Legacy, kind of putting that back on that packaging. Because that, that is the one instance where the packaging is almost as important as the product. You, some may argue even more so. So to be able to kind of express Ray and Kylo Ren and First Order Stormtroopers and Jin in, in vintage look, there's something really special about that. So how would that incorporate uh, episode eight or the, the Walmart uh, vintage style packaging now that's out in stores? Yeah, so our approach with vintage is it doesn't mean old films. It just means Star Wars expressed in an old nostalgic, an older nostalgic packaging right. system. So um, yeah, Rogue One, you know, was gonna do stuff for episode eight, I'm sure. There's no rules in terms of which movie we can do. Any movie is game for the vintage collection because you just love it. Wouldn't you just love to see those characters expressed in a vintage way? So, yeah. I'm always a fan of the 40th anniversary packaging, the vintage style. Uh, there's been limited quantities of that. Was, was that discussed? Uh, how many products were going to be produced for that? Because there was a lot of concern right now with the vintage style, uh, the 40th anniversary specifically, uh, low numbers. Um, yeah, we, um, it is something that is a limited time, right? We wanted to do that for the 40th anniversary. In Europe, in spe in specifically, 
um, we significantly under um, shipped the Wave 2. So that's been brought to our attention and that's coming out later on in the year. We're going to have a lot more quantity so that the fans out there that have gotten Wave 1 as well as the, um, the early bird pack will be able to complete the set. So it'll take a little bit longer to get out there, but by the end of the year you'll get enough to get your collections complete. Well, I really appreciate all your time today. I really thank you. Um, I hope to see great things in the future. I know that as long as you guys continue to put out great products, the fans will always be there. And, you know, Hasbro and the fans, that's a win-win situation. What do you guys think? Absolutely. Yep. Yep. We, we, we are nothing without them. So it's symbiotic. It's a big word for today. Yeah, yeah we are symbiotic. Yeah, we listen. We do our best. We try and please everybody. Never going to do it. But that's life. Yeah. So, but uh, we will... Rest assured, our hearts and minds are in it. Yep. Keep the All feedback right. coming. Absolutely. Yeah. All, yeah. Right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Cheers. So this has been Mark Lackin reporting live, Hayden Films Institute. Right. Please yeah. check out our fan pages at Twitter, my MySpace, even Photoshop. But uh, definitely check out Volker's site um, in Germany.